Can we know you, madam? Okay, my name is Dr. Mrs. Oluno Tienko. And where are you based? I'm based in Calabar right now. Ah. I've moved all over the place, but I'm in Calabar right now. Okay, well, what, what do you have to do in Calabar? Well, I'm a public health consultant. I am cons I'm consulting with the government of Crossover State at the moment. Okay, now how are you involved in the management of HIV AIDS? Are you involved in any, in any way? Do you have anything to do with the management of HIV AIDS? Patients of people living with HIV AIDS? Actually, I have a son. I'm personally involved in managing HIV AIDS in my house because I have a son. He's two years old now. And um, when he was born, he was born as an HIV um, positive baby. Um, when he was born, he was taken to the hospital and he was admitted into the GAINS project. The GAINS um, project is the Global HIV AIDS um, for Nigeria project. And only HIV AIDS, um, only HIV positive people are actually um, taken in as part of the project. Have you said ever, for purpose of putting the record straight? Yes. Uh, this son is an adopted son. Oh, you? yes. Because I mean, you don't want to give an impression that, <laughs> that, I am HIV. that you are HIV positive. Well, that, no, I mean, okay. it has to be put in a clear terms. I mean, okay. you don't know whether we are, I mean, this uh, film can be uh, displayed and people will have a wrong impression even without any mention in it. Okay. Um, my son was adopted when he was four weeks old, and um, he was adopted from an orphanage in Calabar. When he was born, he was apparently born to an HIV positive mother and was abandoned and um, picked up to the orphanage. So when he was four weeks, we adopted him and since then he's been our son. Um, he tested positive before he left the orphanage because usually when you want to adopt a child, they go through all sorts of tests. And before we adopted him, we knew he was HIV positive. And because we already had a previous experience with um, Jubi, Jubilee formula, we knew that the Jubilee formula would help to take care of him, even if he remained HIV positive for the rest of his life. So we adopted him knowing that he had no problems at all. And um, all through his first year of life, he tested positive at the Games Center. But um, when he was 18 months old, uh, the test that he had to go through showed that he was actually HIV negative because he didn't get infected by the HIV virus, the HIV virus that was in his blood from his mother. And this was because of the juby he was taking. He was taking it religiously every day. And because his immunity was increased, he didn't get infected by um, the virus. And that's what we believe and that's what we know to be true. And so, till now that he's over two years old, he's HIV free. Thank you very much. And now, before you go, you've been involved with uh, this product, which was formerly called to be formula for a very long time, even before it was changed to be in. And then um, you have a practical experience of how it could help a sickle cell patient or I a mean, uh, somebody having sickle cell uh, I mean, uh, I mean problem disorder. Yeah. So can you give us Relieve your experience of how you encountered Juby Formula before it became the building, and then what it has done in, I mean, in, in the management of a, a doctor who is a, a, a sickle cell disorder patient. Okay, um, I have a nine year old daughter, Ifeka Kwepo, who's standing here right now. She was born with sickle cell disease, and um, when she was born, we didn't, we did test to find out if she was a sickler and found out that she was a sickler when she was two years old because she now started having symptoms when she was two. And the symptoms included having a painful crisis, a vasoclusive crisis sometimes as well. And um, we tried to manage it with drugs, um, making sure that she had enough hydration, taking her paladrin and other uh, maintenance drugs. But that didn't help much because she was having a crisis every six weeks, like clockwork. Every six weeks, you know that she's going to have a crisis. Then we discovered Julie. I'm a friend of ours who um, is a doctor and he works with alternative medicine, told us about Juby and asked us to try out Juby. So we came, at that time it was known as Juby, now it's known as Jubilee, and we started giving it to her first as a syrup, but then we increased it to her taking her capsules. And since she started taking it when she was about two and a half, she's been so good. Her crisis, um, she gets crisis, but she gets like once or twice a year. 
<laughs> and she herself has she's grown with this jubilee so well that she cannot do without it even when i don't remember to give her she takes it by herself religiously when she has a crisis she knows she has to take it twice a day and she takes it twice a day until the crisis ends and once the crisis ends once a day is all she needs and she does so well she does everything any other person would do she plays she sings she plays the violin right now. She comes top in her class. She's the first in her class. The day she comes second in her class, she's very upset. She doesn't miss her classes. When she has a crisis or she has any pain anywhere in her body, she goes to school, she takes her duty, and she's happy. So... How was she? she? Tell us your experience of okay. passing Jubilee. <laughs> Tell us about Jubilee. How, how, how did you find it? Has it been helping you? Yeah. Okay, when did you start using it? Can you remember? How old were you when you first started using it? Two. You were three years, years old. Yes. Because how many capsules a day do you take now? Two. Two capsules. Two. Two capsules daily. Okay. So how are you feeling? You are always feeling strong? Yeah. Okay. Very good. So I'm also going to give him liver, the helper care, you know, okay. which will help her liver problems. All right. Yes. And that was, that is, is really very, very helpful. Thank you very much. So, so we thank you very, very much for granting us this interview. We thank Jubilee so yes. much for helping us in our life. It has, it has been so useful to everybody now that my husband actually takes Jubilee every day. Ah, that's so great. He's, and he's, he's a young man himself, as you can see, but he cannot do without his Jubilee too. So the whole family takes Jubilee now. Oh, that's great. Um, she's been taking Jubilee now for about six years. Seven, actually. For about seven years. Okay. And you, as you can see, she doesn't have the normal stigmata of a sickle cell disease patient. Usually sickle cell disease patients have a big stomach, they have yellowish eyes, they have long, thin limbs, <laughs> and they usually have a big head. She's like any other person. Usually people don't believe that she's actually a sickler because she doesn't fall ill. Her crisis doesn't last long enough for her to actually have yellow, yellowness of the eyes.